Here are a few suggestions when you're making your solar light and the kind of uh, LEDs to use. I'm just using 3.3 volt white LEDs and I had them in a bag. Unfortunately, I have two kinds of them in the bag. One is the kind of amberish LED. The other one is sort of like a bluish white LED. On this one here that I made, I mixed the two of them. The bluish white one is actually brighter and is probably the one that I should put for um, this light. I'm gonna light it and you can see that the bottom one is lighter, I mean uh, brighter. Yeah. Right, you can see that it flares out more. You probably cannot tell that this is bluish white and this is kind of amber. And the easy way for me to check the color is on a breadboard like this. This is an MB102, about $8, $9, and it comes with uh, a power supply. 5 volt and 3.3. When I'm testing this, I take out the jumper and put it on the 3.3 volt uh, position so that I don't have to put any resistors on them when I'm um, when I'm testing them. I because I know that the value is 3.3 volt, and uh, according to the information, the data sheet is about draws about 20 milliamps uh, for this type of LED. But just to see whether they are amber or bright blue, I can just plug them in, press a button, and I can tell. This one here on the right and this one on the left is the amber. This one is kind of bluish. And so is this one. And the one on the, in the middle is actually a little brighter. When you're doing this, don't look at it uh, head on. Just look at it sideways so it's not so bright as to hurt your eyes. And it's 3.3 volts and you can check it. You can put your meter across the legs, left and uh, the right. The okay, so you know how to check the voltage of the LED. Now to check the current, you just set up your meter so it is uh, on 10 amps and you put your red probe in the amps um, position. Normally it's on this side. And you plug your LED in, the positive and the positive rail, and you clip your alligator clip to the negative and you the other end goes to your positive of your of your meter probe and then the negative of your meter probe is connected to another alligator clip and then use the jumper to put it in the negative rail of your breadboard and then you turn your meter on and in my case here is 0.02 Amp, which is uh, 20 milliamps and you know that uh, that's how much your LED would be drawing and, and what the voltage is like. Now, so what kind of resistors do you use? Here I have a green LED and this side here is 5 volt and I plug in the resistor here. Normally uh, green is uh, 1.8 volt so you have about 3.2 volt to regulate and um, so you, you can use your calculator 5 minus 1.8 so you have 3.2 volt assuming that it is 20 milliamps so you divide that, that by 0 0.020 and it's about 160 ohms that you have to uh, use as a resistor. So 
I don't have 160 ohm. I just put in 150 ohm. It's, uh, and, and when I measure the voltage, it's 2.2 volt or something. That means you would have to use a bigger resistor than 150 ohm, maybe 180 ohm or something like that, to get it down to close to 2 ohms, I mean a 2 volt. So that's how you determine um, what kind of resistors to use. Because when I use 150 ohm, the voltage is still a little high. So you uh, use a, a bigger resistor to make um, to limit the current so your LED won't blow out uh, sooner. You can see that this is fully lit lit up at 3.3 volt. You could uh, use a transit uh, a resistor to lower the the voltage to 3 volt or so to make your LEDs last a little longer. They will light up uh, anything about anything over 2.6 volt. It will light up, and the higher the voltage, um, the brighter it will be. So that is how you uh, measure your LED to see if they draw too much voltage uh, and current, and uh, then you know on your next uh, project what size uh, resistors to use. So like I, I'm not really an expert in uh, in electronics or anything. This is just what I learned when when I am doing this project for my nightlight and I would like to pass this on to you. This is the completed light and what I should really want to add is maybe an on off switch or some kind of a fuse in case something gets shorted out. Right now as it is, it's okay as long as I don't abuse it and it is charging and of course if you shade the light it will come on That's it. Thanks for watching.